outcome is what we wanted. No one got hurt. Uh, we have a highway that's going to open and trade can uh, resume. The protest blockade at Manitoba's major Canadian U.S. border is breaking up today. But here in downtown Winnipeg, you can see there are still semi-trucks and protesters blocking off the street. And there's no signs that they're pulling out anytime soon. Tractors, semi-trailers, and pickup trucks blocking Highway 75 near the Emerson border are packing up and going home, according to RCMP. Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland says the Emerson border closure has impacted over $70 million of trade daily. Sergeant Paul Maneg with the Manitoba RCMP says no arrests or tickets have been issued, calling this a perfect solution to the end of the border protest. Being a national issue, we had to take our time. We didn't want to rush in. Um, it would have absolutely made no sense just going in, perhaps making arrests, issuing tickets. We probably could have had others just take their place. Despite the protesters in Emerson departing, protesters in Winnipeg are staying put. There's millions of people here in this country that have the same view as I do, but they're scared to, to show it because of how we've been governed for so long. I, I won't stay a minute longer than we have to, uh, but so far it's been a lot of talk. Um, so we're, we want to see action, and we trust our elected officials, right? It's, it's not, but, uh, but there's still work to do. So at this point, even though they've said these things will happen or we're going to end the mandates on a certain day, you want to see that actually happen before withdrawing. That's right. Caleb Brown is one of the organizers for the Winnipeg protest who says he doesn't believe in any sort of violence. Protesters in the Coots Alberta border blockade were found to be in possession of guns, body armor and ammunition with allegations of conspiring to murder RCMP officers. But Brown says in Winnipeg, truck drivers are openly allowing police to search and inspect all vehicles entering the protest area. Every single one of the truck drivers here and everyone here said that they would be subject to a voluntary search of their trucks uh, you know that's not something that we're about we we don't agree with any sort of violence we're peaceful and lawful and so we said you know it would be peace of mind on everyone's part look through the trucks City News reached out to police for comment on the protest. An emailed response says the Winnipeg Police Service will not be holding interviews or providing further comments as this protest is still ongoing. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.